Hello there everyone, this is Mr. Brass, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Roman gods. The Titans were the children of the heaven and the earth, with Cronus in charge of the other Titans until he was eventually dethroned by his son Zeus. The Twelve Olympians lived on Mount Olympus, which while it has its idea on the real Mount Olympus in Thessaly, it is also an otherworldly place. I'm going to give you the top three characters of it all, Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades. Zeus was the mightiest god whom could defeat all the other gods, but yet was not all-powerful and all-wise, as he could be duped and opposed by them. He would be known for his many love affairs from which he had to try to hide from his wife Hera. These love affair stories were a result of his worship being spread amongst towns and people wanting to fuse gods, and having the wife of the earlier town god have sex with Zeus essentially fused the cultures. His wife Hera would always try to get back at the woman who slept with her husband. Zeus still demanded respect and to be listened to despite this. Poseidon was Zeus's bro. He was the ruler of the sea whom gave the first horse to man and would carry a three-pronged spear named a triton. Hades was the third brother among the Olympians who drew from his share the underworld and the rule over the dead. He was known for wearing an invis invisibility helmet, being filthy rich, and for pretty much always staying in the underworld and not going to Olympus. Despite what you may think, he wasn't an evil god but rather just a cold but fair type of god. And he wasn't the god of the dead, but he was the king of the dead. Persephone was his queen. The underworld was considered a shadowy realm where the good are rewarded and the wicked punished. Tartarus was considered the lower region of the underworld where people passed as soon as they died and was where the sons of earth were kept. Charon would carry souls in his boat to those who could pay for his service. The three-headed monster Cerberus was the guard for the gates of the Hades. The three judges, Brahmamethus, Isaeus and Minos would pass sentence and determine whether you would get torment or be sent to the Elysian fields, i.e. pretty much their version of heaven. The Greek gods were turned into Roman gods as well and would be given Roman names as well. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades would be called Jupiter, Neptune, and Pluto. Greek literature and art transformed Rome and made it far more interested in poetry and music. Before the Greeks came in, their gods were not really that personified outside of looks. One popular change in character happened with Saturn. Originally, he was the protector of the seed, but became Cronus and the father of Jupiter, aka Zeus. The great feast of the Saturnalia paid homage to him. They celebrated the golden age return of the earth when peace, time, and merriment were key. Presents would be exchanged and all. Well, that is all for today. This is Mr. Brass saying goodbye and get wise. <laughs>